What's up, insane guys? It's Toy is here. here. We do our daily dose of toys. All right, happy paranormal day, May 3rd. Why is May 3rd paranormal day? I don't know, but we're going to look at everyone's favorite hitchhiking ghost from that retirement home for ghosts. 999 ghosts, and there's always room for one more, the Haunted Mansion, okay? So I got both the 2019 figures from Super 7 and the 2009 figures from the parks. Park exclusive figures. Now they didn't get their names until 2011. So they're always shown in this order. Phineas Ezra Gus, aka the Traveler, the Skeleton, and the Prisoner. Phineas is the Traveler. Action figure. So he's wearing his hat. He's got his uh, travel sack. Hat sack. Hey, despite either of these lines up here, neither of them glow in the dark. It's delightfully unlivable here in this ghostly retreat. The haunting is free, but foolish mortals must pay a token fee. Now a happy haunt can follow you home and be with you wherever you roam. We've been dying to meet you. Disney theme parks, merch, Disneyland, California, Walt Disney World, Florida. The Haunted Mansion opened in 69. Nice. In Disneyland, 71, Disney World, and all the other stuff. Paris and Tokyo, they have a version of it. I assume they all have the three hitchhiking ghosts. And that's, of course, the Hatbox ghost. Perhaps a story for another time. Okay. I'm going to open these. We'll have a closer look. Phineas, the Traveler. Ezra. The Skeleton. The hat actually looks detachable. Is obviously that one is also same wording of course and then the prisoner is now known as Gus and similar features here with the actual metal chain connected to his ball okay very cool thumbs up thumbs up happy paranormal day be right back <laughs> All right, thank you for the thumbs up. That's probably what I like most about the hitchhiking ghosts anyway. They're all thumbs in and up. Did this guy have no accessory way? Look at, look at his weird hands. He's definitely supposed to hold something. Maybe in an earlier packaging type? Yo, so you know how they uh, they hop in your Doom buggy? I bet there's a version of him holding the, the um, steering wheel or whatever. I don't know, I don't know. I'm disappointed in these. I rescued them from their packs after, gosh, let's see. Carry the one, divide by zero. 13 years? Oh, wow, 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 wow. They're sticky. I probably should have anticipated that. They're so grossly sticky. That's what happens to vinyl, especially, most especially, translucent vinyl uh, with time. I will tell you in a minute how I intend to restore them. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, but first, let's just look at these, because these ones are great. Oh, my gosh. Phineas. Articulated at the shoulders and the neck. His hat is not detachable. Uh, but, you know, the bag is Phineas, a.k.a. the Traveler. It says Super 7 Vietnam, copyright Disney, no year included. Now, this guy, his hat is detachable because if you look at the images from the park, he's holding his hat up above his head. Right? I'm going to definitely include some pictures. So, yeah, you can... Well, yeah, duh. Okay, and then uh, that's Ezra, the skeleton. Up until 2011, they were just known as the Traveler, the Skeleton, and the Prisoner. And boy, does he look good. He has some double sticky tape in his left hand, kind of deteriorating. <sighs> but no deterioration compared to these parts figures. Man. Okay, let's... 
separate accessory hat and separate bag. This, it appears, yeah, you see how it's, it's, the plastic is producing all this oil that makes it crazily sticky. But articulate the waist, the elbow, the shoulder, full range shoulder, head, or neck rather, separate waist, knee, and ankle. Kind of insane levels of articulation for a little figure like that. And this, I hate handling these. You do not know how sticky these are. And they're starting to discolor. What I'm going to attempt to do. Okay, see, this is what happens. The hard plastic, which is ABS or PVC in the chest, which holds in the other vinyl pieces, polyvinyl chloride, um, it's discoloring. That's what happens to translucent hard plastic. And then, crazily sticky with the rubbery vinyl. So, uh, thumbs down to how these have aged. I'm not going to attempt to take them apart. I'm going to put them, I'm going to blow up some water, turn off the heat, and then submerge them for a couple hours in soapy water. I'll put like one drop of vegetable oil in the soapy water. They stink too. They stink. Oh my gosh. I'll just let them sit in that for a couple hours. Not really agitating or stirring them or scrubbing them. I mean, they are. New out of pack. Okay. And then I think I'm going to let them fully dry. And then I'm going to let them sit for maybe 20 or 30 minutes in... Isopropanol, rubbing alcohol, 70% rubbing alcohol, and then let that dry. That should dry pretty quickly. And that's about all I could do. Now, for the hard plastic that is discoloring, I think you're going to want to thicken some peroxide and then put it under black light. But they haven't discolored that much. Mainly, I have to immediately work on the stickiness, though. Oof. Okay, these are, whoa, these the modern ones are definitely better. And I actually like those colors. One, two, three, four, five, basically five paint apps. Yeah, hey, yo. Here's a quick look at the Super 7 figures under black light. I think they look fantastic. I think that's why we don't want them to glow in the dark. Oh, I think you could make the plastic black light responsive and make the paint glow in the dark. Okay, let me show you the others. All right, here's the Disney Parks figures under black light. The plastic is amazing. All sticking is gone. It was not nearly as intense as a lot of things I've restored. So I ended up doing about a one half hour soak in soapy water of which I added like a quarter teaspoon of vegetable oil and also a quarter teaspoon of cornstarch, maybe half, a, maybe one teaspoon cornstarch. Now, listen, I don't even know that either of those two things would have been necessary to add, but you know, it was super easy, barely an inconvenience to do so. So I gave it a try. And then about a half hour soak in rubbing alcohol. That's it. The plastic looks amazing and all stickiness is gone. Now the yellowing is still there. I'd have to tackle that with peroxide and in fact the same black light. But they look as good as they can. The scale is weird on these. Super 7 definitely did a better job. They're way more articulated than they ever need to be and you really can't get the thumbs you know in the angle that they are in the park. Overall, they look nice, and I'm very happy that I was able to get rid of the stickiness. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, perhaps, for that information alone. And once again, happy Paranormal Day, May 3rd. Goodbye.